On to a story that it's new at six from the ABC 7 News I team. The mass shooting at Mushroom Farms in Half Moon Bay last year shed light on the deplorable housing conditions farm workers have been living in for decades. This tragedy prompted the San Mateo County Task Force that has been inspecting every farm uh, in the coast. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena has been covering this story for over a year now and she is here with exclusive look into those findings. Luz? Well, Dan and Emma, this is the first time San Mateo County finally has clear insight into how farm workers are living. Through a public records request, we obtained never before seen photos, inspection reports, and the findings this task force has been collecting for over a year. It's eye opening. Relying on satellite imaging, community tips, and property records, over the last year, the San Mateo County Task Force inspected over 130 units of housing, in them 355 farm workers, many homes hidden in plain sight. When they were on the site, had their eyes open, and if there was anything they thought was a residence that had some health and safety issues, they were authorized to also inspect. We obtained their inspection reports with emails and photos of a number of code violations. We went through these findings with Justin Mates, the deputy county executive and key coordinator for the task force. About 60% of all the units we inspected were in compliance. About 40% were not. Our main focus was current agricultural and ranch operations that provide housing to their employees. We went down the list. Inspectors found multiple units that were not previously registered with the county and yellow tagged housing at several farms. If it's been yellow or red tagged, nobody should be living there. One of them, Coast Wholesale Flores, Inc. Inspectors found multiple code violations here, leading to the property owner having to demolish buildings and pay tenants relocation packages. After multiple inspections, the property has been fixed. But others are still pending. One of them is the Contreras Farm. No one was available to speak on camera. These satellite images captured multiple structures in the property. Inspectors yellow tagged one of the units. Photos show a trailer with a number of violations, wooden structures, and mold covering an entire bathroom. Inspectors reported a total of 11 occupants in different units here and one minor. I'm sure there's other sites like this, and this is not, a, this is not acceptable. This is unacceptable at all. Half Moon Bay's mayor, Joaquin Jimenez, knows the family who lives here, yet he had never seen the inside of these units. He's been advocating for farm worker housing, saying there are at least 1,000 farm workers in need of housing. Uh, owners are responsible. The people that live there are responsible. Uh, the county is responsible. Looking through the records, we found the county's environmental health services also found bacteria in the water supply here. One of the residents was quoted, requesting for another sample to be collected. This was a problem inspectors found in 36 units in the county. That was the most concerning finding of our inspections, largely the presence of bacteria in the water supply outside of safe drinking standards. On the phone, a member of the Contreras family said they're fixing the issues. They have lived in the property for decades, but don't own it. We looked through the county's records and found an email where Victor Anya confirms I am the property owner. Anya is the chief of staff of the San Mateo County Sheriff. Deputies were the first to respond to the mass shooting and witness the deplorable housing conditions at California Terra Garden in 2023. We asked Victor Anya if he was aware of the conditions on his property. In a statement, he said, I want to clarify the inspections in question pertain strictly to land use on privately owned property. I do not own or operate a farming operation, nor do I have any employees associated with such activities. In cases like this, who does the county hold responsible? If the operator was different than the property owner, then uh, the property owner may be held responsible. We went to another site on the list, Ananda Valley Farm. How many people live here? Okay, there are probably close to 20 people that live here. Inspectors flagged foundation and water issues here. The staff made changes fast. We wanted to be in harmony and cooperation with the county. We partly wanted to get done to help the, the residents that live here. Mate said many property owners are complying. The vast majority of our operators provide housing that meets these essential health and safety standards. And those that didn't, for the most part, have been making those corrections. As this community continues to grieve, these inspections hope to shape policies that improve farm worker housing. We have a much better understanding today of the condition of our farm labor housing on the farms than we did before that shooting. 
And some of the policy ideas include new regulations to test the water supply at farms every year, as well as legalizing more housing units and making it easier to get permits to build farm worker housing. Dan and Emma? As you said, that report is eye-opening and yeah. important. Thank Extremely you. important, yes. Thanks, Lucy. Absolutely.